tcm.com or call 888-9-TCM-SHOP. Hi, I'm Robert Osborne. Our last film, A Kid for Two Farthings, is one of the lesser known films of the great director Carol Reed, but a movie certainly worth a look. And next we're gonna stay in a Carol Reed frame of mind with another film in which a young boy has a focal role. It's one of Carol Reed's most famous films and best films, The Fallen Idol from 1948. Really terrific movie. The first of a one-two cinematic punch by Carol Reed, who the following year of 1949 made what is perhaps his most celebrated film, The Third Man. Now, The Fallen Idol is based on a story titled The Basement Room by the great British novelist Graham Greene. And as with The Third Man, Graham Greene himself wrote the screenplay for our film with assistance from writers Leslie Storm and William Templeton. In fact, it was for his work on this particular screenplay of The Fallen Idol that Graham Greene received the only Academy Award nomination of his great career. And that movie also brought Carol Reed an Oscar nomination as Best Director. The movie is about the son of an ambassador in England, a boy who lives with his family in an embassy in London, and idolizes the butler who works there at the embassy and kind of runs the place. Then the strange twist of fate happens, and the butler's wife dies, and the butler's accused of murdering her. Well, the boy tries to help the butler by making up some facts and excuses, and by doing so comes very close to getting the butler into the electric chair. Now, an eight-year-old boy named Bobby Henry plays the misguided youngster, Ralph Richardson plays the butler, and beautiful French actress Michelle Morgan plays the secretary who's having an affair with the butler. Well, because so many of Carol Reed's film successes are movies which involve children, like A Kid for Two Farthings, The Fallen Idol, and of course the Academy Award-winning musical Oliver, Carol Reed was often asked if he had a secret for being able to direct children so well. He said he did, and that it was to not have the youngster ever take his cues from other actors, but to cue the child himself as the camera rolled and thus get as natural a response from the kid as possible. Well, one has to say it certainly worked like gangbusters for Carol Reed. And our next film is more proof. Here made in England, also with Jack Hawkins from 1948, one of the great films the Fallen Idol.